What's up? My name is Brandon Gross, and if you're new to the channel, I'm an adrenaline enthusiast that's been living full time on the road in this converted school bus for the past two and a half years. Usually, you can find me underground exploring some claustrophobic caves or jumping off of just about any and everything I can find. But welcome to my channel, where the main goal is a life worth living. If you found yourself thinking, hey, I should buy myself a hammer or a flashlight, why not both? The Olight flashlight can do just that. Take a nail. Let's try a different type of nail. Look at that. And this thing is not affected whatsoever. All right, no, but in all seriousness, big thank you to Olight for sponsoring this video. They support all of my crazy adventures, just like all of you guys do. Thank you guys, thank you Olight. And like I've said in the past, I'll never push any sort of products to you guys that I don't believe in myself. And these are seriously things that I'll use forever. I use them when I'm in caves. I use them when I'm working in the ambulance all the time. You'll see in a lot of these conversion videos, I have this headlamp right here on, just because I don't have electricity in the ambulance yet. So I always got this on whenever I'm working at nighttime or if it's too dark in there to see. And they just sent me a couple of their new lights. This is their little pen light. You can get yourself one of these little guys, the little Olight guy. Tap them on the head, changes all kinds of different colors, and you can just like stick them to the wall. All kinds of different things you can do with these. Right here, this is one of their new headlamps. It's got the battery pack on the backside so it like evenly distributes the weight on your head. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about this company. Amazing products. That, that's all there is to it. It's all you need to know. They're having their Black Friday sale starting today, the day this video is posted, the 24th up until the 29th. They're offering up to 45% off their flashlights. A bunch of new lights were just released and with every single order, you get a little keychain light. If you guys like supporting me and supporting brands that support me, a little supportception, go check them out. If you guys are in the market for a light, honestly, they're amazing. And without further ado, let's start this video in three, two, one. It is day eight, working on the ambulance. Got some more parts coming in today, and I'm gonna try to get the air conditioner up on the roof. That's my plan. Huge, huge shout out to Rec Pro for helping me out on this build. This is their low profile 9.5K air conditioner that runs off 110 volts. I'll have a generator that'll be powering this, but this will be mounted to the ceiling. Cannot wait to get this thing in. I'm so tired of having hot summer days in my school bus. Now I'm gonna have nice cool summer days in my ambulance. Let's see if we can get this up there. I'll throw a link in the description of the air conditioner if you guys are interested. One man operation right there. Now I just gotta figure out where to put it. I'm really excited to have some air conditioning in a livable vehicle because like I said, the hot summer days in the bus out in the desert, they got old pretty quick. I'm not complaining though. I still wouldn't trade this lifestyle for anything. All right, I just gotta figure out exactly where it's gonna go. My guess is somewhere right around there because I think I'm gonna do solar there. I still have to do a max air fan somewhere as well. This is my helicopter landing pad. Shouldn't be too bad. It's gonna go right here, but they put these little brackets it's all over the place that are welded in. This one got cut out, but it's still sticking out a little bit too far, which is just gonna get in the way of it. So I gotta shave that down, cut out a 14 by 14 inch hole right here, and then install the air conditioner. All right, let's go cut a big hole in the ceiling. All right. Fortunately, the only Sharpie I could find was a red Sharpie for my red roof, but I drilled two small holes from the bottom to show where I need to be, and then used a square to make a square. <laughs> 14 by 14. Now I'm just gonna cut that and drop that guy in it. And if you've never done this before and wanna know how, you can either drill a big enough hole in each corner to get your blade inside and get started. I'm actually gonna use a cutting wheel, just get a little bit started on each one or just do the whole thing with the cutting wheel if I can stay straight, I don't know, we'll see. Boom! Let's see if she fits. Pretty damn good. All right, I just siliconed the ring down, now I gotta go stick this on there and then go down and bolt it in from the bottom. Just gotta put the face, face of it on, but I'll probably leave that off for now since I still have to insulate everything and do the ceiling. Wired up a little plug end to it so we can see how it works. Turn it on, there we go. It's gonna be so nice having AC. Well, this is pretty much as far as I can get with it right now until I finish the ceiling. It's already getting super cold and this is gonna be great. 
looks pretty good up here. Big, big thank you to Rec Pro once again. I'll have their link in the description if you guys are interested. They sell a lot of really good products for RVs, van life type stuff. And uh, yeah, they're really helping me out on this build big time. Can't wait to see this thing when it's finally done and trim is on the inside. A couple more things to install today as soon as they get here. Actually, I think the UPS guy just pulled up. Let's go see. Oh, hell yeah. Too much, how are you? All right. Thank you. There you go. All right. You too, man. I appreciate it. Look at that timing. I literally just finished the air conditioning and my speakers came, so now I can put my doors back together. All right, we got the old shitty speakers and then we got some nice new Rockford Fosgate. These things, I have them in my school bus and they are super, super nice. Well, I got the new speakers in, but this one's still not working. So I just ran a new wire for it that I need to fish back under there. Took the seat out because I needed to check these fuses because there's an issue with the accessory wire that, that turns the head unit on whenever you turn the key on. So I'm about to rip the entire dashboard apart because I don't like this head unit. It looks great, but it's only good if you need a basic head unit that does the most basic shit ever. I bought a nice Sony one. I got to rip this one back out and uh, I got to take the whole thing apart so let's go the max air fan just showed up just marked the square for where it's about to go and i gotta cut it out freaking glove. You need to get all of this blue sticker off or else I will end up having leaks and won't seal right with that on there. Gotta scrape that off. Okay, time to seal this puppy up. Okay, I gotta do that 12 more times. I installed one of these on my school bus like three and a half years ago. And this one's way more slim. It's like they redesigned it. I got another head unit coming tomorrow. Solar panels, all the good stuff like that. All right, one more hole cut and successfully filled with an appliance in the ceiling. We'll see what packages show up tomorrow and the next day. I'm gonna go inside, screw that in and finish it up. That'll finish out today. See you tomorrow. All right. Shit, almost smashed a cat in the door. All right, today did not go as planned at all. Had a pretty bad scare this morning. Woke up to my mom having to be taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Not my ambulance, like an actual, actual ambulance. It was just a pretty bad scare, but she's okay. Thank God. She's already been home from the hospital at this point, and now she's out with my dad. But ambulance. Since it is raining today, the perfect time to see if my fan and my air conditioner are leaking or if they're actually holding a good seal. Let's check out around here. I don't see any water. All right, those are good. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna work on today. Because like I said, one thing every day, minimum. Today is gonna be that minimum. <laughs> uh, Okay, let's go. I decided today I'm going to trace a lot more wiring. I need to run a couple more wires from the very back all the way under the floor up here to the front for a couple more switches. It's gonna be an electrical day, which really isn't too exciting to watch. So I'm not even gonna film it. I will just catch you guys tomorrow. All right, today putting in the second head unit because the first one, I hated it. And so I ordered a nice Sony one and I got everything torn apart. I'm ripping out the old backup camera, installing a new one that's coming in tomorrow, but I'm at least getting this all prepped. So when the backup camera comes tomorrow, I'll hook that up too. And then this will all finally be buttoned up for good. I hope. I really don't want to have to tear this apart a third time. That's all today is just running some more wires in the back, getting ready for the insulation to go in and just waiting on parts still. That's all for today. But let's just, let's just fast forward to tomorrow. I bought flooring. Gonna get started on that. Picked up a table saw from my uncle's house. Got my little canopy set up because this Pennsylvania weather is just disgusting. <laughs> and this is my setup so I can bring stuff in and out and cut things properly, blah, blah, blah. But right now I need to clean up everything in here and prep the floor. It is also freezing in here. So let's get this puppy on. Ooh, there we go. All right. Time lapse of cleaning. Go. Okay, floor is pretty much ready to go, except for 
I need to cut out some wood blocks and screw them down inside of here, level them out because this is where the stretcher holder guys were. And same with right here and here. As Soon as I get that done, then it's actually time to start the flooring. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought. Getting pieces to match the floor perfectly with that little of a space took a while, but that's all done and now it's time for the floor. I'm getting to the point where the floor is going to go in and fill that space as well, which means this little rail is in the way and I need to take that all out anyways because that's where my fridge is gonna go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move my nice improvised tool area, get that all out of there, start prepping that for the fridge while I do the floor as well. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh damn, damn it. Uh, well, it fits, but now I need to chop off a little bit of it this way. Great. Let's try this a second time. And freaking beautiful. All right, let's finish the rest of this. I got the entire dash put all back together for the second or third time at this point. All the flooring is done in the back. Just doing some wiring on the backup camera. And now the last thing I gotta do today, throw the seat back inside. Catch you tomorrow. Today has just been reorganization of all the scrap and all the old ambulance parts that I took out to make some room in the garage to actually be used as a garage. Taking the second full load of ambulance things to the dump. So that's what today is. Time to install the diesel heater. Right now I'm cutting this piece to make a shelf and then the diesel heater is gonna sit on this. So that's, that's my plan. So that's gonna go. Right there. Diesel heater, right through the wall, boom. Shelf's mounted and I got all the holes drilled so that the diesel heater can just slide right down with all that stuff. Just gotta clean up the bottom real quick. Mounted it in there, ran the exhaust down through there and have a little muffler mounted below. This is the intake. I need to get a longer hose and run this somewhere else. So I'm done with that for right now. I got a little bit of it wired up and this little bit is for the controller and for the main power, but I don't even have solar batteries yet, so gotta wait on that. But that's pretty much done. Once I get batteries, it'll be a quick finish there. But one more thing completed. <laughs> Time to get this baby up in here. And right in there, somehow. Should be interesting. This fits too perfectly right here. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build something underneath it so that way it's raised all the way up to the ceiling height. So it's just like a little bit easier for my laziness. That means I gotta rip out this 12 volt, the 120 outlet, and then I'm also gonna cut a vent in the back for the heat to dissipate out of uh, the little exhaust fan area for this thing. Let's get to it. This is as far as I made it. It's in there, it's not screwed in in any which way, but I got the supports underneath to hold it and I still need to cut a hole out of the back wall to let it vent out. Screw this all in and then trim it up and make it look nice. But that's my stopping point for tonight. Start back up on the fridge tomorrow, first thing. All right, Home Depot day today. Just getting a bunch of random things I need, some more wiring and heading back home now. I didn't think this through, but one of the pieces was way too long to fit in or on my truck. So here's my solution. <laughs> Electrical tape is all I had in my truck, so I strapped it along the outside <laughs> and taped it to the mirror. That's my ghetto life right now. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and then these ones luckily bent all the way around, so I like stuffed them in the corners there and then taped them to a bucket that I had in the back seat. <laughs> Oh, so ghetto. Woo. We're back home now. I already got all the stuff thrown in the ambulance and it's time to start working. I'm cutting out the vent for the... What's the vent for? The fridge, cutting out the vent for the fridge. 
I just ran all the wiring up through there, across, boom, 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 over there, down the wall, and the battery bank's gonna be down in there. Got that in, going to bring the fridge over, wire it, slide it back, hopefully not have to readjust anything. Something was screwed up with the little ledge that I built for the fridge, so it wasn't sitting right, and I fought that for a lot of the day to make these perfectly the right height. I tied up a whole bunch more wires, and the fridge is in where it's gonna be. It's screwed in, bolted down, it's never moving, and uh, just gotta do some trim work to make it look nice, and catch you tomorrow. All right, I spent a huge majority of the day running some new wires, getting everything where it needs to go, and just doing a lot of electrical stuff, such as, I was able to save the old backup camera. This one was already here. I was about to rip it out, got it working, and I ordered this one too, so now I have two backup cameras. Because, why not? Then, over here, I got my inverter mounted. I'm saving this area for batteries. My 12 volt fuse block. I got a few wires fished down the wall to it. These will be all neatened up and looking good, but this is where my whole electrical system is gonna be living. And inside, I got this huge tree trunk of wires, a little bit neatened up. Speaker wire ready to go, another speaker wire ready to go. All of this up here is like backup cameras, brake lights, uh, reverse lights. Wanted to neaten that stuff up a little bit. I got a 110 line ran down there, which comes from my air conditioner, that's all hardwired in. The max air fan is all wired in. All these wires are running down, fish down along there, and then through the wall down to where that battery bank is. And then I have all this stuff over here ready to be wired up once I finish the walls. Doesn't look like I did a lot, but wiring stuff takes a long time. Like figuring out what wires you need where, how many wires you need, what gauge wire you need, all that stuff. So that's taken most of the day, but now, I am getting ready to get the frame of the kitchen ready to go. So that way when I get a countertop, just plop it on top, cut holes, put the sink, stove, blah, blah, blah. And that's what I'm gonna go do right now. Let's go. The kitchen framing is done, but that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Stick around for next week's video because this thing's just gonna keep on chugging along until it is done and I'm on the road on my way to Portland because it's the first stop. Maybe, I'll probably stop on the way, but I gotta go to Portland. And uh, actually, the light I mentioned earlier, if you do buy anything from Olight, you get one of these. It's their keychain light. The greatest part, you don't have to use those stupid ass little watch batteries. You open it up and you recharge it with USB-C. And that's what I'm actually using to light this video right now. <laughs> because I don't have my GoPro light. So that's the light you're seeing is the little keychain light that you get for free with anything you order from Olight. So thank you guys for the support. Thank you Olight for the support as well. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Oh yeah, that's really fun. Yep. <laughs>